So you're bringing on new self storage space. For the small investor, in my opinion, that's the most risky proposition of all. But yet, to get the returns we need today with pricing being the way it is, that's typically what we find ourselves doing. So how do we go from new building or expanded building to stabilized occupancy? Well, let's talk about some strategies today. My name is Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage, and I'm the creator of the Quick Start Academy. And what I do is I support the small investor who wants to get in the self storage business or who wants to grow their self storage business, strategically do so in a way that creates true wealth in a fulfilling career. Let's talk about a game plan for getting your self storage facility leased up. So let's step back a minute and get an overview. First of all, self storage is a very local product. So what do I mean by that? Well, literally you can stand at your facility and send a drone up. And if that drone can see three to four miles out, that's your market. Your customers are there. At least for us, 86% of our customers live within 3.2 miles of our facilities. Now that varies facility by facility, more rural, it's a little larger area, but on average, that's your market. I mean, that's local. That's about as local as you can get. You can see your customers with a drone. So simply put, your marketing strategy is designed to get in front of those people. Those are the people that are going to be renting your units. So let's start simple. First of all, location, signs and banners. So if that's your market, and I've got to keep it simple so I can relate to it, that's my market. At any, on any given day, a certain percentage of that market is going to be driving by my facility. Whether they need my product or not, they're going to drive by our facility. And I want our signs and our banners to be easily visible, if at all possible. You want to draw their attention to your facility so they begin to relate to what's the, your facility is a self-storage facility. If there's nothing there or what you're adding isn't there yet, a good four by eight you know, sign with a rendition of what's coming is a great idea. When we're doing expansions, quite often we'll put banners up with a special, if you rent now, but explaining what's coming. Make sure your phone number's on the signs and on the banners as well as your website. Now let's talk about Google. We cannot talk about designing a lease up strategy today without talking about Google. So here's a few interesting stats I've gotten from Google. Now they're a little dated, but I'm sure they're still applicable. 83% of all people searching online don't have a storage company in mind. The average person searching online will consider between two and four facilities before they make a choice. 61% of storage customers searching online are people who move, people who are upgrading or renovating their home, perhaps now due to COVID, they're changing things, or they're suburban renters. On average, that accounts for 61% of the customers who rent storage and went through Google. So what does that all tell us? Show up on Google, that's what it tells us as high up on that first page as you possibly can. Now, what does that mean? That means you've got to most likely buy your way up to the top of that page with pay-per-click. Now, in my simple way of thinking, people who I can see from that drone that live within the three to, you know, three to five miles of my facility, I want them when they're searching on Google to say, oh yes, that facility, I've driven by it. I want to call them or I will click here. 
on the online world that we live in, it was created by Google in many ways, so you've got to pay for the right to show up on their f first page. And that isn't that cheap anymore. Now, regardless of what your thoughts are about Google, whether they're good or they're bad, whether they're a monopoly or a successful company, it really doesn't matter what your thoughts about Google are. They're the game to play on if you're going to be renting new space today. In all actuality, for the most part, it's still much less expensive than the old Yellow Pages used to be. But we're spending a lot more on marketing than we did in, let's say, 2010 through 2015. So show up on Google. If you want to be, you got new space and you want to be relevant, you've got to show up on Google. So let's talk about what to do when new space is coming online, whether it's an expansion or whether it's a conversion. Here is kind of the strategy. You want to have good signage like we talked about so that the customers living in your market area see it. You want to show up on Google when you're leasing space. But let's talk about how to ramp up to that point. So six to nine months out, here's my suggestion. If you haven't done so, buy a domain name for your facility. Launch a landing page. If you can't do that, have your website company do it. You want to launch a landing page if this is a conversion or new construction or a landing page inside your website showing what's coming in the expansion. And you want to start posting photos. And the whole idea is if somebody's searching in your market area, you want them to see what you're creating and an estimate of when it's going to be arriving. If you've got existing space, perhaps you're offering a special so they can move in now and then transfer when the new space is available. Most of the time they don't do that. Have a call me or contact me button on that landing page where they can click it and automatically, especially if they're mobile, just hit a button and they're calling the facility or reach out and, and contacting you. Now, don't expect a lot of business out of this, but this is designed to begin to have you interacting with, with your market. Again, your website provider can provide a landing page. I use something called lead pages. I'll create my own landing pages and then I'll direct them to the domain name of the website. Now, that's six to nine months out. Three to six months out, Here's some suggestions. Consider putting a webcam on the site pointed at the construction site. Now, just consider it. People watched a webcam, a live webcam, on Mars. And I'll promise you there's probably more action going on at your construction site than there was on that live webcam on Mars. Keep your photos updated, new construction photos showing the progress, and maybe you want to start beginning to offer some type of exchange for an email address, like a, a, a coupon for a free lock or a discounted lock or some discount off some rent, something so you can get an email, an exchange of some type, so you can get an email address for future marketing. Odds are if you get that email address, it will be from somebody in your market area. Now, two to three months out, if you haven't done so already, verify your business on Google, Bing, and Yahoo. If you don't know what that means, Google it. If you still can't figure it out, have your website company do it. But you want to be able to show up on Google Maps when somebody's searching for storage in a particular area. And how that's done is by verifying your business. If you want to use Yelp, I've had mixed results with Yelp, but if you want to use Yelp, this is the time to set that up. Be sure you also have your company Facebook page 
two to three months out and the pictures that you're posting on your landing page are also going on your company Facebook account. One to two months out, if you haven't done so, launch the full website. Make sure your accurate unit mix is in there. You can take reservations. You can rent units for future move-in and you can offer specials. Now this was pre-COVID, one month out, schedule a grand opening. Now you don't want your grand opening on the day you get this, expect to get the CO or the temporary CO. Usually have it a month or two, we've had as much as six months later. You want it after you're open, people are in the facility and you've worked any bugs out, you know, lights not working, hallways not coming on or lit right, all those kind of bugs you might work out, punch a list done before you have your grand opening. One month out, if you have blog content, you might want to create a blog content schedule. And this is where I'm really starting to ramp up my Google pay per click marketing budget at this time. Now in the spring or, you know, typically it's the spring where you're leasing up, fall and winter it slacks down. We will ramp up more, spend more in the spring and fall and winter. But if, no matter what time of year it is, if you're launching and opening your facility, you really begin to ramp up that Google pay per click ad spend at this time. A couple other things, as much as possible on your website, we haven't been that good about this, but we're getting better. Have your content be as much about the local area as it is about storage. Look, nobody's gonna read how to pack a storage unit. That's been written and it's out there. It's just filler, nobody reads it. Keep as much local information about local businesses, about schools, about your customers, as much local content as possible on any content that gets posted on your website or in your Facebook company page. Make sure that your websites show up dynamically, or in other words, think mobile. Every year, larger and larger, more people are using mobile. You want people to be able to easily read your content on their phone, sitting out in front of your facility, being able to rent a unit on your phone, being able to push a button and call you on their phone where they're not having to punch the phone number in. Think mobile as you design your online presence with your website. Most of the website providers in the storage space already do that. And I learned the hard way. Set up your conversion tracking for your Google ads as early as possible. It's a lot easier at the beginning than it is after the website's been up and running a number of years and you're going back and trying to set up all your conversion events and tracking so you can track how effective and what the return is on your ad spend. Do that as early as possible in the process. Now here's the good news. You don't have to get everything right to be successful. My coaching is just have a strategy, have a plan, and then start executing that plan. You'll find out where you're strong and where you're weak, where you're weak, get some support, and by following a plan and having a definite marketing strategy for leasing up your new space, odds are you're going to be successful at getting, and the game is to get to 85% or higher as soon as possible. And you do that, you'll have a successful lease up project for your self storage facility. Thank you very much. My name is Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage, and I'm the creator of the Storage World Analyzer. That's the financial analysis modeling tool that we use as we look at how the cash flows are going to happen and what the different scenarios can be like on a lease up. If you're not using it, I really invite you to explore it. It cuts down on the mistakes we make and it creates beautiful reports. StorageWorldAnalyzer.com, Creating Wealth Through Self Storage.com. Click the Storage World Analyzer tab. Thank you very much, and I look forward to being with you next week.